welcome back to the channel. My name is Amber with the Ramblin' Richardsons. And uh, the winter storm has finally struck. It seems like it always comes in February. A couple years back, we had that really bad storm shut down the state of Texas, like the whole electrical grid and stuff. It was in February. I'll show some clips of that happening. But that was crazy. Uh, I got to make snowmen and see snowfall for the first time here in a really long time. But uh, last year we had a little ice storm in February. And this year, again, ice storm in February. I mean, that's ice on the window there. I was hoping I could roll it down under the cool thing. Not happening. Anyways, I gotta get out on the road. I gotta go pick up some things. I gotta go get groceries. That's a little bit later. I gotta see my dad, help him out, install his Wi-Fi mesh system with his new modem. If you didn't see that video, go check the little thing, little clip. I'll show a little clip here, but I do have a video up. Go check that out for me if you could. And if you're watching right now, go down there and like and subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you don't ever miss any of the videos that we post. But yeah, gotta get out in this winter storm and uh, whew, hoping I can make it over to dad's. Now, this is a Toyota CHR. It's a crossover vehicle. It does not have four wheel drive. Okay, so it says it's right at 32 and so does my watch. It says right at 32 degrees, but there's no wind. It doesn't feel like 32 and honestly feels like it's in the 40s. So we'll see if we can get over to dad's. Stay tuned. that whole chunk of ice all at once. That's funny. That whole chunk of ice is moving all at once. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. Slide the whole thing off. There we go. There we go. My fingers underneath that. Oh. Yeah, come on. Get off my car. Big piece of ice. Uh, okay, let's see what we can do with that. Hey, honey, <laughs> I made it back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there she go. Well, as you can see, I got back to the house safe. I picked up a little something for my wife to eat. She was starving, and uh, dinner's not ready yet by any means. I still have to go to the grocery store. I didn't film anything at Dad's house. <clears throat> it was just me hooking up a wireless mesh system, just like here, but. Got everything hooked back up at his house. Everything's working great. So dad's doing good. And the roads aren't actually that bad out, but they are going to be bad tomorrow, let me tell you. So we'll have to uh, film a little bit of what's happening tomorrow and because the ice is gonna get way worse. I don't know if you can see my neighbor's roof right there. That's ice. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. <clears throat> So I just almost got killed by a tree limb. It's still up there, hanging. But uh, yeah, tree limbs are coming down. Crazy. We just had a huge one fall on the house. My wife is trying to move the car, but there's a tree limb that fell down on our house. And all these overhanging limbs here. There's the one that almost got me. The 
this tree is dangerous. And I tried to get the landlord to come out last week to get this tree trimmed, as I knew this was gonna happen. Okay, I'm in the safety of the garage here. But there is the limb that just almost came down and hit me. And it goes all the way down here. <laughs> Very dangerous tree. And all of the limbs are starting to sway. See the limbs swaying in the breeze up there? That's what's causing them all to crack. All that weight and a little bit of swaying and just snap like a toothpick. another big limb fall from right up here that's it right there on the ground I'm in the car charging our devices but you can see all the limbs in my neighbor's yard and our yard you can hear the limbs cracking as they break off there's where the power limb is right there and I saw it bouncing up and down which means uh, one of our neighbors limbs broke off and hit that power line. So it's like 200,000 people are out of electricity. The way they work it is they work from the main substation, the main power supply, and then they work outward. So it goes from the main power supply to the substations and to the other boxes, voltage boxes, and then directly to the houses. We're hoping that this doesn't last for you know too much longer we're hoping by this time tomorrow it's four o'clock in the afternoon hoping by this time tomorrow we'll have power back it's gonna be a cold evening we've decided to stay where we are stay tuned survived last night the power is still off we have we were on 30 plus hours of no power and now my mother's calling me talk about a winter wonderland Oof. my neighbor's truck got demolished last night And then there's our front yard. Look at all that crap. Man. This is Central Texas. This isn't like Wisconsin. Okay, folks, this is day two, no power. Our power went out at 5 a.m. yesterday. 
and has not come back on. Um, most of the tree then is in our front yard, is now down on the ground, and a bunch of limbs broke off last night. Um, but the ice is all melted. When we left this morning, there was ice. And I'll play the clips where it shows there's all this ice built up on everything. No more ice now. When we left this morning, there was ice. By the time we got back a few hours later, no more ice. So everything is fine. So we have got the heat up three degrees since we've been home. And the sun has actually set. So we can keep this up. The house will be fairly warmer than it was last night. It's going to be warmer outside anyways. Last night was supposed to be the worst of it. It's not supposed to freeze tonight. It's just supposed to be cold, really cold. But if we made it through last night without any heat or electricity, we'll make it through tonight without any heat and electricity. Uh, hopefully by tomorrow. <coughs> hopefully by tomorrow, the city of Austin will have all of this wrapped up. But it's crazy. It's now February 4th. Our power was restored at 4.30 a.m. this morning. Woke up, there was power. So we survived, had to throw away pretty much everything in the refrigerator, um, but small price to pay. We got electricity, we have internet back. So this chapter of the winter weather storm here in Texas is over, um, but I did have to call and get our maintenance people to come out tomorrow. He's on other jobs helping other people because their limbs fell during the storm. So I had to call and let them know that, hey, look, we, we put in our work order before the storm came because we already had dangerous limbs and now it's even more dangerous. So we need to be prioritized. It's not fair to us that all these other people waited until after the storm to have somebody come trim their tree. I didn't film a whole lot during the storm because we didn't have power and my cell phone. It's a hot commodity in case of emergency. I wanted to have batteries. So I'm um, sorry I didn't get more footage, but it is what it is. We survived. I think maybe next year we'll be buying one of those generators, those electric generators. It always seems to happen in February. We always get a storm, a nice storm or inclement weather we're not used to here in Texas. But I'm going to wrap this one up, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, life's about the journey, not the destination. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.